A collection of paintings assembled with enormous care in the 18th century and long ago sold to Russia is coming back to its original home at Houghton Hall for the first time this summer. The collection was gathered by Britain's first Prime Minister, Sir Robert Walpole, and it features exquisite Renaissance and Baroque paintings from all over Europe. These include works by Rubens, Rembrandt, Velázquez and Van Dyck, among many others. They were all intended to adorn the walls of Houghton Hall, which was built in Norfolk for Walpole's retirement in 1742. It was one of the most opulent private homes in England, expressly designed to show off his fine collection of old master paintings. But the collection had a relatively short life here. When Walpole died, only three years after he retired, he left debts of £50,000, or more than £5 million in today's money. Two generations later, in 1779, it was in some desperation that his heirs sold the major part of the art collection, 204 paintings, to the Empress Catherine the Great of Russia. For her, it was an enormous prize. And together with two other important collections, she built what is now the State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, where these works have hung ever since. This summer, 70 of those paintings have returned temporarily to Houghton. To celebrate, the interiors have been restored to their 1742 condition, recreating for viewers today the experience that would have greeted them had they paid a visit to the great statesman in the middle of the 18th century. The Marquis of Chumley, a direct heir of Sir Robert Walpole, has spent many years restoring the house. It's something I've often imagined, the, what the house w would have been like in Sir Robert Walpole's time. And it has such an atmosphere, 18th century atmosphere, the house, in any case, with the original furniture and the, and the bronzes and the tapestries. and. I mean, adding back the, the, the original pictures is, is a sort of dream, really. Walpole was a very wealthy man by the standards of his day. Exactly how so much money made it into his purse while he was in office is lost to history. How he spent it is also something of a mystery. He destroyed all his paperwork before his death. But his collection, full of Catholic images, and by the brightest of European painters, was unique. Look close, and it's quite apparent that these pictures were originally purchased to adorn these walls. A family crest, peeking from the top of a frame, mirrors a similar one, found carved on the leg of a table. Elsewhere, the signatures of their newer owners are unmissable. Carlo Maratta, an Italian painter, features prominently in the collection he was one of Sir Robert's favourite artists, with a room dedicated to his name, yet Maratta is often overlooked today. I think it, it comes to light that, that Walpole was an extraordinary, um, I mean, had an extraordinary eye. I mean, he, was, he wasn't just a wealthy man sort of buying whatever uh, pictures he could buy. He really, he really was searching for specific works of art uh, by specific artists, choosing quality over quantity. The Hermitage, which owns the collection and has never lent it to a private home before, has been an enthusiastic partner in this unusual collaboration. Certainly it is a Russian collection, but it was a British collection and belongs to all of us. And so now we have opportunities to do this, and it's one of the examples how we make it accessible to everyone. By a strange twist of fate, it was probably the sale of the paintings that saved them for posterity. In 1789, the main picture gallery at Houghton was destroyed by a fire. The house has been completely restored since then, and after nearly 250 years, these pictures really do seem at home, if only for the summer. <laughs>